someone should hold up a T, someone should hold up an L, and someone should hold up an M for TLM. Do that else. Nailed it. Hopefully we can have that, those symbols infiltrate the youth culture of America and just people walking around like, yo, TLM, fool, back off. Should have done this. That's hardcore. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Taste Like Music. Joe here with Jason Kramzer. We're doing Mamas and the Papas this week. My pick for the 60s in our viewers poll that we did uh, last year sometime. I won, so my list of a band from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, we'll be doing all this month, started with the 60s, Mamas and the Papas. So today we're going to count down our top 10 favorite tracks from the influential but short-lived pop band from the 60s. So... Who's kicking us off here? You can do it this time. Okay, number 10. I think we all can hedge our bets on what my number one is going to be. But my number 10 is going to be Creek Alley. Really like the story about everyone. Love the little shot at Mama Cass is the only one getting fat. Um, but pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> folk song. Uh, number nine, Spanish Harlem. Really enchanting with, uh, I think it's the marimbas, might be xylophone, I don't know. I don't do instruments, but it's got a really cool glockenspiel kind of sound. One of the best renditions of Spanish Harlem to me, which is just a naturally really good song. Number eight, dedicated to the one I love. Little Hipper and um, Joe kind of, when he's talking about, I think, Dream a Little Dream of Me in the albums video, said it was kind of sonic youthy. Um, I kind of feel that way about this and kind of this album in general. It's got a little bit of that downtrodden, gloomy, kind of gloomy but cool, kind of like Velvet Underground vibes. Um, pretty mellow, pretty and mellow. And then it picks up really nice and there's a great piano solo toward the end. Number seven, Meditation Mama big pet sounds influence um, to me on this. You can really hear, you know, that production value in it behind. Really gorgeous fluttering sounds on it as well. Number six, Dancing Bear. Vocals are great. It's almost haunting. It's a good song. Cool lyrics about uh, like being a chimney sweep and kind of dreaming of being something else. It's got like this blue collar kind of mysticism, which I think is really cool. Number five, I Call Your Name really cool cover they do it with like this great 50s 50s ish honky tonk piano southern get down jam kind of vibes and uh you know it's just a good love song at heart number four monday monday just a classic the harmonies and the backing vocals just bring so much to the table and love that little lift in the melody when he says you'd still be here with me very good number three i saw her again great just simple, upbeat 60s jam pop, great harmonies again, and great mix in the vocals. Um, kind of jumping about, but it works, unlike um, what we were talking about last video. Number two, and, you know, I talked about missing some hit, wanting some hidden gems that I never really got around to album-wise, but there is a song that I absolutely love. Um, and if it's not Jason's number one, I think it'll be in this top three. I've got Safe in My Garden, Really awesome perspective and kind of modern take, like this little piece of poetry about sheltering from the chaos, really softly sung. And even when like the strength of the melody and the song comes in, it's still just like brilliantly, just kind of like effortlessly comes out vocally. And I think that's a really, really uh, cool thing that they do there. But number one has got to be California Dreamin', just the power of the vocals. You never really get again as well as on here. It's everything you want, mamas and papas. Um, the acoustic guitar sounds great. And just the power behind those harmonies in the background with the got down on my knees. And yeah, when Denny does like his individual, like got down on my knees, well, I got down on my knees. It's so heavy and awesome. And there's just so much cool magic and power to that song that I, I think is awesome. So that's gotta be my number one. I believe it was nominated for songs of the year 
year came out from me. So this is a no brainer. All right. I can go next. My number 10 is I saw her again. I might end up sounding like a broken record in this video because the good songs are good because they have great vocal arrangements. Um, and that is the case here. I love where they sing. Uh, you know, it makes me feel so good. And it's in the uh, right ear and then it repeats again in the left and the, all the little like do, do, do stabs that they do in the backing vocals are great. Number nine, uh, number nine, I have 1230. Young girls are coming to the canyon. Good catchy chorus. Um, lot, the verse has a lot of cool stuff going on in it. Very interesting hi-hat work from Hal Blaine on that one. Number eight, I have Straight Shooter. Uh, very cool, kind of Beatles-y guitar intro. I think the song would fit very comfortably in on a record like Help. It's got kind of that mid-60s folk rock thing going on. Number seven, I've got No Salt on Her Tail. I think it's the best song on their second album by far. Um, I love the, the male vocals, and then they're always repeated by the female kind of echoing, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I think it's uh, mostly Denny and Michelle singing on that one. Number six, I've got Dream a Little Dream of Me. Uh, not easy to sing a standard and just own it so completely. And that's what Mama Cass does on this. It just is totally her song and uh, forever will be after this. Uh, number five, I've got not in my top three, Safe in My Garden. I love the two counter melodies that are working in this one. Great orchestration too. And I think some of just the most soaring vocals that they ever recorded. Number four, I've got Too Late. Great lead vocal from Denny Doherty on that one. Love the organ on it as well. Uh, it also, the organ holds this really long note that goes into this really interesting bridge slash extended outro section, which is really cool and it has some great drumming on it. Number three is dedicated to the one I love. Uh, by far for me, the highlight of Deliver uh, was also recorded previously by the Five Royales and the Shirelles, but I think, uh, I think the Mamas and Papas do the best version. Uh, great song. They sing, sing the heck out of it. So really cool. Number two, I'm going California Dreaming. Amazing song, incredibly arranged. It's somehow summery and wintry at the same time, which is really cool. Uh, but my number one is going to be Monday, Monday, which I absolutely love. I think it's a great song, great melody. I love the lyrics. Uh, the bada, bada, badas are just as catchy as the actual vocal melody line. So you've got like back and forth hooks going on the whole time. It's, it's awesome. Cool. A lot of repeats since they don't have that many songs. My number 10, I'm new with the Beatles cover, I Call Your Name. This one definitely has like a little schlager feel to it. Definitely got the same thing from some of like the early ABBA albums. And I, I think it's a little bit more better than the Beatles version. So good cover from them. Number nine, I got 1230. I think probably their last great pop song. Uh, it has a little bit maybe like country rock to it even, maybe a little birdsy kind of stuff going on. Number eight, I'm going to go with Too Late at number eight. Uh, a little bit of like Baroque kind of psychedelia here. This one has some great like melancholy, get some hints of like pet sounds and stuff from Brian Wilson and great vocals, obviously. Number seven, Trip, Symbol, and Fall. Uh, I, I just like sort of the meanness and bitterness of the lyrics. I think the vocal work, great again from all, all the members. This is one of the ones with sort of everybody singing in unison, which I like. Number six, go where you want to go. Again, perfect vocal harmonies. And I really like the nice lead uh, from Mama Cass. A little bit of R&B flavor in there as well. Number five, Monday, Monday. This one, kind of like California Dreaming, like there's that kind of hint current of darkness and sadness that runs through what is otherwise a very upbeat pop song memorable strings on here great vocals again again vocals again they're great number four words of love uh cass's strong lead vocals i think is just awesome a little twinkly piano and you know songs like this make me wish 
Like she had more kind of leads. They didn't quite get her involved enough, I think. Um, you know, it's mostly Denny, but I think when she takes the lead, it's, it's great. Number three, dedicated to the one I love. That little soft vocal lullaby from Michelle to kick it off is just great. And then when they all come in with the harmonies right on each night before you go to bed, just, just awesome, really great cover. Number two, I saw her again, real nice bubbly, you know, perfect pop song. The call and response in the male and female is just so cool the way they do it. And like all the little parts, you know, there's like 10 or 11, like little parts that pop in and out in the vocal work. Um, and when they drop in the, and it makes me feel so good. It just, oh, wonderful. Number one, that was gonna be California Dreaming. I think the darkness of the song really is the key. Um, you know, you, you get the California textures and stuff, but the minor guitar uh, figures throughout, the gospel level call and response, that great flute solo from Bud Shank, whoever that is, is a hell of a flute solo. Yeah, you know, it, it's California and, you know, Minnesota. Look in California, feeling Minnesota. That's how I feel about that song. And uh, a classic for a reason. So my number one, almost had the trifecta on that. Jason ruined it, as he usually does, but close, very close. All right, well, I guess that's it. Mostly, you know, most of the, the singles showed up for me. So I don't know. I mean, they have plenty of other songs I liked, but like a lot of the 60s bands, the singles, you know, they, they nailed them. They, they picked the right ones for sure. So not the most interesting varied list, but I, I make no apologies personally. Yeah, I think we all feel the same. Well, let's hear it from the commenters. Leave your top tens or top fives. I know they don't have a lot and you don't like them. Give us a top five. Throw them down in the comment section. Like the video, subscribe. Uh, we are Taste Like Music, but all you listography subscribers, you're still on board, so no need to push buttons or anything. You're you're good. Like the video, did I say that? Hit the bell for notifications, hit that. Uh, check down in the description if you wanna find our Facebook, Twitter, and everything else. We'll see you tomorrow for side three. We're gonna be checking out famous, sons and daughters of famous artists i think right is that what we're doing something like that mamas and papas are we doing the sons and daughters of the mamas and papas <laughs> we're doing something you'll find out tomorrow <laughs> get back tomorrow for whatever the hell we're doing and thanks for watching